Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. In today's episode, we will consider why is the Quran a miracle? Now, the Quran is miraculous because the literary and linguistic nature of the Quranic text goes beyond the productive capacity of the Arabic language. The productive capacity of nature concerning the Arabic language is that any author who attempts to express themselves in Arabic will always have their speech or text classified according to the non literary and linguistic expressions contained in the Arabic language. Those divisions of Arabic expression are as follows. Prose, poetry, or muqama, a composite of both prose and poetry. Prose can be further divided into saja, rhyming prose, or more so straightforward speech. The earliest scholars of the Quran, including individuals like Al-Baqilani, are clear cut in their analysis of how the Quran contains no saja and is not saja at all, and since more style expression, always no rhyme or rhythm. We are certain that the Quran is not more in style as well. The Quran is not poetry since it falls under none of the 16 Bihar or rhythmical meters which poetry falls under in Arabic. Furthermore, it's not muqama, a composition of poetry and prose, since Arabic linguists are unanimous that the muqama is inspired by the Quran and came after it. And yet the above categories are the only existing categories of expression in the Arabic language without entering into regionalized local forms of expression unique to some accents and regional dialects. Now what makes the Quran a miracle is that it's outside the productive capacity of the nature of the Arabic language. This is due to its unique literary form, unique genre, matchless eloquence, frequency of rhetorical features. Now any Arabic text producer or author can only express themselves within the established linguistic and literary principle which define the scope of the Arabic language. A totally unique expression other than the non-Arabic literary and linguistic constructions cannot be explained naturally as the productive capacity of the nature of the Arabic language are the non-expressions called prose and poetry. The Quran is therefore a miracle as its expression cannot have occurred naturally as a natural Arabic linguistic and literary expressions, regardless of variation and type, are none and have been repeated for millennia. The Quran, however, has not been imitated and is an entirely unique expression. This possibility, however, cannot be explained naturalistically, namely, it has no natural explanation, hence a supernatural explanation is the only coherent explanation for this impossible Arabic literary and linguistic expression the Quran namely. This is more importantly confirmed by non-Muslim Arabic expert Gib who states the following. Like all Arabs, they were connoisseurs of language and rhetoric well. Then if the Quran were his own composition, other men could rival it. Let them produce ten verses like it then. If they could not, and it's obvious that they could not, then let them accept the Quran as an outstanding evidential miracle. H.A.R. Gib 1980 Islam, a historical survey, Oxford University Press, page 27. Now, if I may put this in a logical context to close up, we have the following points. First, any expression of the Arabic language falls into its own literary forms of prose and poetry. Second, prose and poetry are inside their productive capacity of the nature of the Arabic language. Third, the Quran is unique and does not fit into the non-divisions of the Arabic language. Therefore, the Qur'an is not inside the productive capacity of the nature of the Arabic language. Upon that, if the Qur'an is outside the productive capacity of the nature of the Arabic language, then we must conclude that the Qur'an is a miracle. This is for today's episode. Until we meet with the new episodes of the Beliefs of Islam. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. And Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.